Today we're going to do an unboxing of Poseidon's Kingdom. It's a Lamont Brothers game. They're known for making uh, pretty good games with cool components. This was out of print for a while. Just got it from Game Salute. So let's open it up and see what's inside. All right, got shrink wrap off. Got some pretty cool artwork there. Got the instructions, how to play Poseidon's Kingdom. In this game, you're supposed to be uh, stacking your dice on this uh, giant tidal wave that you make. At some point, it tips over and dumps all your dice on the board, and you go from there. I haven't really read the reviews on it yet, how to play, but I watched the Tom Bass review back in the day, I just don't remember. There's a punch board for the wave, looks like. Another punch board. Another punch board. Dice and bits. Some more punch board stuff. That's a really thick one. Uh, here's the player board, which probably won't fit in the video. I'll show this in a little bit when it's zoomed out. Uh, it's double sided. Here's the Kraken of the game that's stealing your good guys that you're trying to rescue them from. And it's got a lot of little dice in it. Pretty colorful. That's pretty cool. Whee! And uh, let's see what's in here. Probably all the sea creatures. Yeah, they're all in bubble wrap. That's cool. So we've got uh, some starfish. We've got what else is this? Oh, octopus. Uh, what else do we have? A little bluefish. And these are almost uh, plaster or ceramic. They're pretty nice. More of those, more octopus. Got some dolphins. And uh, I'll set all these out once I punch them and then uh, show you the final components all in one big lot and then we'll be done. Cool looking little shark. And a seashell apparently. Here's everything kind of set up. Sorry to show all the junk in the background, but just want to show you all the bits. Here's all the, the chits here. And these are super thick cardboard. My daughter Merritt's here helping me. I don't have four hands. But here's some Survive Escape from Atlantis tiles, the sand and the forest, which are pretty thick. And these how are they, are how they compare to it. They're super thick, which is really awesome. And even the, uh, the tiny little chits that come in the game they're also super thick. So the only thing that's thin is the uh, tidal wave at the end. It's a little flopsy, but that's all right. We've got the Kraken Tracking, which is where your friends have been captured by the Kraken you're trying to rescue them. This isn't a rules overview or anything. I'm just showing you the bits. Uh, each player will have a player color, and they've got player dice, player chits. And there's a smoke color for if you're not playing enough players and you need a they go on fourth player or whatever they go on the uh, board. Here's the big map, and it's got the guys at the bottom and the top, and the shark and a dolphin. And we were going to show you how uh, heavy duty these were. They're almost like the nativity scene figures you get at Christmas sometimes. Just super heavy duty. Paint jobs are yeah, pretty good, but it's hard to complain when the bits are that cool. And uh, throughout the game, you can be building uh, reefs and stuff with your bits over here, or you can be placing dice on the wave and at some point during the game the wave will you'll tip the wave over and the dice will flow out pretty sweet and you can set that back up play will continue just round and round till you uh rescue your animal and that's it those are the bits i'm really impressed we hope you get this played soon and maybe put out a review at some point thanks for watching